Hello, I just finished a test video, a 360 video, and I'm going to show you my workflow of how I did it using my GH4 with an 8mm fisheye lens. It's a Sigma 8mm. So I'm going to go sort of reverse back through my workflow here. So what I had is I had my, my original footage. I did four angles, four 90 degree angles. So I get the whole 360 view of my scene. And uh, there's just a small area near the bottom that I didn't shoot. Well, I did shoot it, but um, I'm just gonna use a, sink, a still image for that little tiny area to fill in the, the nadir there. So the first thing to do is bring your four videos into Premiere Pro, and we're gonna make still images from each of those four angles. So that's what you're seeing here is my four images. Let's see if I take that off. That's my four videos. I can sort of play through it and there's the leaves moving and things like that. That's one angle, that's second angle. And the third, and I think the fourth is the first one here. I also did the, the, the ground, but uh, I'm, I'm just gonna use a single still image from that because my my ground I actually just sort of handheld and it's moving around too much for it to uh, be useful. So we're going to turn that off. So the first thing I did was I, I lined up my my four uh, camera images and I sort of synced them together of what, what I thought. The sync wasn't too crucial here because there's nothing really happening in, in two of the ang angles here. So once you do have them all synced up, all four of these, one, two, three, four. And this one was a little bit short, so I repeated it a couple times uh, to make it a full section here. Let's get this all in here. Uh, the next thing to do is start exporting these as image files. So I'm going to just use the first one here. We can go to File. Uh, export media and what we have I use TIFF format but you could use JPEG if you want to save room on your computer and make sure that it's matching the source it's the same size 1920 by 1080 this is the output name and find a somewhere put on a folder I have it in one called 360 videos. And this is John's backyard. And I just created under images here, a folder called 01. This is my first ignore number six here because that was the, the ground, but I'm gonna have four, four folders here. So if I go back, I'll create a new one, a new folder. I'll just do tutorial images create then I go into there and I'm going to create a new folder and this is my first angle and it's important just to name it like zero one so that's fine save and I'm going to queue that up it's because I have my screen flow working at the same time so then you can just play that and it's going to output them into that folder So here's tutorial images. Oops, play. There we go. And you can see they're going to just start outputting them in there like that. So basically, that's what I have here under images. I have each one done. So they're they're filling in these these folders. If we go back to the original here. So that's the first one. Then I go ahead and I do the second the second one. Then I'll output that one, and I'll output the third one, and then I'll output the fourth one. So I end up with four folders here uh, full of TIFFs. So the next stage is to, we're going to have to stitch all these individual angles together to make one large pano. So if I show you the finished one, the video, is that stills? Stitched. This is what we want to end up with, a, a fully stitched 360 image. 
uh, in sequence. So if I go back to images, I have one called a folder called rename because I'm going to use Adobe Bridge to rename them. But before, there's no going back. Once you rename, there's no undo. So what I did is I just created an, a copy of my original images folder and called it rename because in case I make a mistake, I just want to have my original ones untouched uh, to go back to. So in this rename folder, it's basically the same as my images folder. So I'll go to that images and go back to rename and I'll open up my first one. Now, PT GUI has a batch stitch function, which works very well, but the images have to be in a very specific order. So let's just, for example, I'm going to, I'm going to show you what, how to set your sort of your template up for PT GUI here as well. I might as well at the same time. So if we can get into, no, oh, not that. Here we go, the rename folder. And I'm just going to take the first one from here. Just cancel that. The first one from this one. First one from this one. And the first one from this one. So it starts at zero, so the third is actually the fourth one. Uh, and then I'm just going to align the images. Uh, it's upside down. Do I get them all there? One, two, three, here. I probably should have put the crop here. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now we have the, basically this is what we want to look to, 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 the, to be stitching together. So if I just do a quick preview of that. You get an idea of what, what's going on here. And we're gonna patch that later on, just with a still image. But basically that's, that's the full panorama still image. Now we got to do that, I think around 2000 times just for how long? For a minute and 15 seconds, there's about 2000 images to, to stitch together. If we go to the bottom here, yeah, 2040. All right. So back to PT GUI. We're happy with that. We're just going to make a template of that. So file, save as a template. And we'll call it, whatever, I'll call it Backyard 360. Now I have one already done, so I didn't really fine tune this one. I'm just going to go in there and save it real quickly. It may or may not work for what I need to do, but I have one in there that I know that works since I've already done it. Um, so we're still not quite ready to, to do the full batch stitching yet because we have to rename our folders uh, and put them all in one folder. Or rename our images and put them all in one folder. I'm just gonna close this, close this. So back to bridge with our one, two, three, four, we're going to create a, I think it's video stills here. Yeah, we're gonna sort of create a folder with all of our images. Now that's the finished one, video stitched. That's not it. Tutorial images. Oh, batch. We're going to create a batch folder. I have it out here. So basically there's one, two, three, four of the images. Then this is number one, the, sec the second image with one, two, three, four. So basically we have to create this folder inside of bridge, which let's do that now. So I'll redo another one. So we're in rename. Sorry, rename one. I'm just going to select all of these. And under tools, there's a batch rename. Now, 
rename in the same folder, I'm gonna move them to another one. So I'm gonna do browse. And that one happened to be in the rename. So I'm just gonna create another one called, it's the same folder, basically the same idea, tutorial rename, just so I don't get myself confused. And we're gonna put them in there. So sequence number, we're gonna start with since there's 2,000, at least we're gonna have four zeros here, so four digits. If you have more, you're gonna to wanna to increase this to like five or six digits. And the second part of it is 01. So this is gonna be the first image that PT GUI is gonna grab uh, for our sort of sequence for the batch settings. So you can see down here, it's called 001-01. Uh, so I'm gonna rename that. Make sure it's going in our tutorial rename. That's why I want to, <laughs> I made a copy just to make sure everything's not copying over itself. So there we go. Okay, so tutorial rename. You'll see we have the first one there. This is our first folder. So we're gonna go back and do the same thing. With this guy. Just gonna wait till it finishes reading all these images. Since they're TIFFs, they're a little bit large. Each one's seven megabytes, so there's 2,000 of them. So it takes a, a minute for it to, to load them all in. And once they are, I can select them all and do batch rename. This is gonna be starting at 000 again. Make sure you change this number as well to two. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if there's zero, zero, zero there or not. I can see down here it's still, since we chose four digits, it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, tutorial rename. Yes, rename. So you can see the second one's in there and just do the third and the fourth. So open that up. Let it read all the files first. Basically select all of them, tools, batch rename again, change this back to zero, I guess since we don't need the four of them and change this to the third view and rename them. And that's going in here as well. Anyway, in the end you end up with, I believe it's this one, no, Ugh. batch. I should have called this one tutorial rename batch to have it like this one. That's why I'm confusing myself. Um, anyway, let's just finish this off since we've started it. I'll rename it afterwards once we've put the images in there. Okay, select all, tools, batch rename again. And this is our fourth folder, so it's 04. And we're gonna rename those. It doesn't take too long. Okay, so. Did it move it right I'm out of there? I don't know. Anyway, tutorial rename, they're all in here and they're ready for batch stitching in PT GUI. So if we bring up PT GUI, tools, batch builder, I'm just gonna close it to refresh that tools, which I already did, looks like. Generate new project, tutorial rename, four images, yes. We're gonna use Backyard 360 as a template and we're gonna generate the project. I may just pause this because it usually takes about two or three minutes to do. Okay, so it's gotten all ready to go. So now it's all ready to do the batch stitching. So if I do okay, it's gonna go through and start doing the batch. 
So if, where did I put that? I'll put it on the my desktop, my messy desktop. So you can see that the panels are going in here and they're being stitched one by one. So it has to go through 2,000 of these and each one takes a second or two. So uh, I'm not gonna let the whole thing run because it, it's gonna take way too long. Um, so I'm just gonna pause this and well, I shall just stop this because we already have this done. Stop. So there's no need to let this run for 15 minutes. Are we gonna abort the job? Yes. So, so instead of these tutorial stitched ones, we're gonna go in and use the ones that I've already done. Once that's done, we don't need PT GUI anymore. So once the video has all been stitched, they're not quite in the order that Premiere Pro likes to be imported as an image sequence. So we're gonna to have to rename them in, in Bridge. And basically, well, I've already done it. Since the order here is with 01010101, we only really need the front part of this and the, the images will be in the proper order for uh, Premiere Pro. And that's what I've already done here. I've just, I've already renamed them in Bridge uh, so that they're basically just removing the, the last part of there, the dash 01. Uh, we'll put them in the proper sequence for uh, Premiere Pro to bring them in. So let's do that now. I'm just going to import and I'll find that folder. That was called Video Stills 2, I believe. Yeah, so when I click on the first image there, you'll see that the image sequence uh, is available. So it does read it as an image sequence and we can import that, which we have here. Now, once it's imported, I basically just go to modify and interpret the footage because our original footage was shot at 24. So assume the frame rate of well, it was actually uh, 23.978 <laughs> or 98, but anyway, it's gonna be close enough for the video I need to do. But if, if you're doing a very specific job with this, with where you have to sync audio, be very careful with what you're putting here and very careful what your audio was recorded at as well. Uh, if it was at point uh, one uh, kilohertz or 48. It's it's all to do with the frame right here, so be very careful. But I'm just gonna use this one, because I'm happy with that. So now we have our image sequence here, all in a video format here. So all the action's gonna happen, me walking out and all that sort of stuff. So we'll just drag that over here. And I did, well, I did have a mask over the original one, which I removed for the tutorial. Basically, if I can zoom in on there, down at the bottom there, you can see a bit of the tripod still. I just created a mask uh, and went over this part here. I think I can still do that. It's just, it's finicky, so creating masks. Is it opacity? Yeah. I think I use this one. It's going to be kind of harder with screen flow going at the same time here as well. So.
using 4K footage and screen flow at the same time. Should we just go a little smaller, like maybe 10%? Yeah, just make sure that all this is out of there. Yeah, it's not gonna let me drag it. Yeah. Not what I'm used to. <laughs> it's usually a little bit more responsive than that. Um, and then you would feather it and whatnot like that to get your, to remove your, oh, I'm on the wrong, am I on the wrong one? Let's see, if I invert it. Yeah, okay, so that's right. I did invert that. So uh, that's going to get rid of the... the tripod parts there. And just use, I just use a still image underneath of the grass and that spot, spot there. Um, so basically that is it. Uh, I'll have the image sequence here and I put a little title at the beginning here. You have to type very, very, very tiny to get it uh, to look properly. So basically I have three little things set up here. Uh, let's see. If I... Basically that's the idea there. You can just create a title like that, but just remember you have to keep it very tiny for it to, to look normal uh, on the 360 video. So there, there we go. And then you can just export this file, uh, export media. And you're gonna wanna keep it match source, which is the, the two to one ratio. And you can create it for YouTube 4K. Just match source, just make sure you do that. And queue it up. And where's it going? Let's put it on the desktop. Call it 360 Backyard. On the desktop. It's gonna take a minute to export. I'll just pause this. So this is the uh, video, or this is it, the app. So I don't know how well this will play. Oh yeah, it plays okay, considering I have something else going. So there's a guy with a dog over there. So this is compressed already for YouTube and 4K. And the bottom here is stitched. You kind of see this sort of round weirdness happening here. That's just the, because that's a still image and the rest is kind of moving slightly like Blowing, blowing leaves and whatnot. Uh, so anyway, that's that's basically a 360 video with four angles, one, two, three, four. You can see here along the uh, moving hammock here that there's in the wind it moves here, but uh, that's one of the downsides of doing it not all at the same time is if something's moving across it's gonna be a different part in time okay so there you go that's the tutorial of how to create uh, using pt gui your video and i hope you enjoyed it